So 4 1 25 Bannockburn, they lead in the lead 1 4 10. One other quarter time score was from Anarchy 2 3 15 the Roos, they need lead North along two behinds. It's good when you, you get a fellow who's uh, now made his mark at uh, AFL level in young Lee Harding, still comes back to grassroots and back watching his, uh, his side here at Bannockburn. That's, that's terrific, Laurie, I reckon. Oh, yeah, it's good, yeah. And, and the thing is, the guys all enjoy having him here. Did you ever go there on a Sunday to Newtown, Laurie? No, mate. <laughs> I wasn't well enough. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Saturday was always a hard day, Laurie, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't so much a Saturday, it was a Saturday <laughs> night, wasn't it? Hey, five o'clock, boom. Well, uh, umpires are just waiting for... Uh, <laughs> Looks like a, a, a little fan on the half-forward plank. Can't quite get off the ground. <laughs> Looking for a kick of the footy. <laughs> <laughs> He's off now. We're about to start. 15 points of difference at quarter time. Panic burn with the aid of the Laurie to Goldie Breeze. In the second term, it will be Lister again against Joel Armitage, who, as uh, the boys said, dominated in the first quarter. These tap outs, he goes up again and gets it down towards uh, Noy, but Clark chops it off back towards Armitage again. Stands in the tackle, guest in there over the shoulder, and he will take a free kick. No signs of the hamstring injury so far for Darren Guest, and he's in the middle. He's got the free kick. It's a couple of leads across half forward. Goes short towards Noy. He takes the mark in front of Lewis. So Marcus Noy chips over the top towards half forward. Kelberg has to stand. Oh, oh take okay. a good mark. The only goal kicker so far for him. Belief. Sam Kelberg will kick from 50, 45 degree angle. We're impressed with Inverley Laurie that when they get a free kick and there's a stoppage, they, they bide their time and wait, wait till the player gets free. Yeah, well, they're certainly doing that today. Eric and doing it quite well. So Kelberg comes in. Good kick off the boot. I think he might have just missed to the near side. He has and one behind. So one guy won his personal tally, and they go to 1 5 11. And Bannock 4 1 25. Raiders bingo, second quarter scoreboard. Minute and a bit played. So the ball, Giles, kicks to himself in the goal square, and away he goes. Kicks long to the middle of the ground. It is a long kick, straight into the arms of Lister, standing in the centre circle. So that's how quickly the ball's oh. come out. Handball from Lister. Gave uh, Dylan a bit of a task, but he's up to it. Kicks it across the ground. Oh, Lewis, the ball fell into his arms. Very fortunate. Now on the left foot, chips it forward. The leads come from Ronnie Pilgrim. Can't pick it up first time. Held without the footy. No, said the umpire. He punches forward along the ground. And the ball deep in the forward line for Bannockburn. With uh, Inverley defence under real pressure. Perhaps a fortunate free kick there to McCallum. He had the footy. Lewis met him front on. And uh, the umpire suggests it was too high. But... Uh, that's the way it's gone. So McKellen now in blue goes wide to half forward flank looking for Brunches. Takes the mark on the half back flank. This time on the, uh, well, on the change room side. Again. Oh, it's a terrible kick off the boot. In fact, it's out of bounds on the full. So uh, all in Valley's uh, good work in defence has been uh, brought undone because uh, now Ashley Perkins will get the uh, free kick. Well, runs around Trotter on the mark, chips it forward to uh, Clark. Clark on half forward flank. Kicks the ball back into the centre corridor. That's where it's got to be. Oh, oh, <laughs> Ronnie Pilgrim Ronnie. used the body brilliantly and uh, 20 metres out almost directly in front ended up taking the easiest of chest marks. So, opportunity here for uh, Bannockburn. And I just sense, Laurie, that, that perhaps with this little bit of a breeze, there's a chance for Bannockburn to break the game apart. Well, they could, Eric. Um, Ronnie should, uh, this should be... Um so Pilgrim moves in. Oh, he's hooked it he across the place of it. goal. What's the umpire going to tell us? No, he's missed it. Well, you don't see that too often. But it is only a behind to Bannockburn. 4 2 26. They lead in relay 1 5 11. Raiders bingo, second quarter scoreboard, three minutes gone. So a kick in coming from Walter. Oh, geez, it's wide. And Guest sets him a task. Oh, he's touched it just before the line. Would have been a free kick, but it will be now. A boundary throw in. 45 metres around from the Bannockburn goal. Maloney and Henry to do the ruck work for their respective sides. Maloney gets it down. Good tap two to Malone Grant. Couldn't take it with him. McCallum was there as well. They bottle it up. The umpire will come in and ball it up. Almost thought Malone Grant went without the footy then. Laurie knew what he was going to do when he got it, but he went a bit early. Yeah, I was just watching the two, uh, number eight and number five, uh, around the footy there. Got a bit of strength in the footy, Bannockburn. So a ball up. 
That's the side of the pack by Lane Grant in there again. Clark ridden to the ground play on the call. Clearing kick for Inverlee. Go towards centre wing. And uh, keeping his feet was Nan. Handball away to Guest. Runs into trouble. Broom. And then also Flanagan dropped the footy. Said the umpire. Play on the call. Flanagan with the footy in the middle. Goes long towards full forward by Lane Grant. Goes up. Oh, can't take the mark. Good mark in front of Armitage. Stood his ground well and probably got a knee right in the middle of the back on tipping from Tom Malone Grant. Right on the top of the hip or the thigh there, that hurt. And he's gingerly getting up. Lockie McKellen holding the football for him. He's not too good either as he stands up. So McKellen will take it. Well, yep, just catching his breath. McKellen between fullback and centre half back goes towards the middle, punched away by uh, Cameron Carr. Still in the middle of the ground. Oh, Clark on hands and knees. Handball was chopped off by Nan, though. Gets a good shepherd. Right foot kick towards half forward. Kelberg and Perkins. Perkins keeps his feet. Kelberg does well. Perkins still keeps his feet. And breaks away and does well. Wants to switch play across half back. Does very nicely indeed to Christian Shaw. The assistant coach goes from half back or runs a long way. Now he taps the ball on the oh, ground. Now two bounces. He's away now. Now he's in trouble. He gets away again, though. Short little kick towards Clark at centre half forward from 55. Right foot kick towards Hickledon. Uses the body, can't take the mark. Little toe poke still in the goal square. And do we believe see it through? Or did Mike... Oh, well, Malone Grant got a touch on yeah, it. It hit the post. But it hit the actually. post. And through for one behind. So they go to 4-3-27, Paddock Byrne. They let him believe 1-5-11. And then it's on the Raiders. Bingo, second quarter scoreboard. We're playing five and a half minutes. So ball about to uh, come back in. It's a better looking kick from the defensive area. Looking for oh, Cam good Cannon. Mark. Mark. Right mark on half-back flank. Ahead there of uh, Dylan. But one of those one-grab marks that you like to see, Laurie. Yeah, there's a little bit of class there, I think, Eric. So Buchanan on half-back flank there for Inverlee. Looking for options further afield. Kicks long and high towards centre wing. Big pack of players. Armage. Oh, Armage. In front of yes. the pack. Great mark. Read it well. And... Uh, He's uh, been very, very prominent so far in the match today. So Joel Armitage looking for options now. Kicks it over the centre. Well, good defence there by Flanagan. Gets the ball to ground. Handball goes forward for uh, Inverlee. But running onto it is Perkins. He's uh, overrun the footy. Picked up there by Kalberg. Tried to elude the tackle of Carr. Couldn't do so. And the uh, tackling of the defence for Bannockburn has been ferocious. But they're sure. He's playing a great game so far. Chips it across the face of goal. And Giles there for Bannockburn to take the mark. He's chipped it further afield. Back to uh, Shaw. He's covering some territory. And uh, he, on half-back flank, has another possession. And uh, he's racking them up pretty strongly today. There's a lead in the middle from Lister. That's uh, ignored. So Shaw now looking for options. And uh, the chip finally comes to uh, uh, Dylan. Drop the mark. In the middle of the ground, well, it comes to Lister off somebody's feet, now picked up by Dylan once again. He's kicked along into the forward line. Oh, running back with the flight of the footy is Sam Hickle. A long way from the goal square, but well within his range of kicking because the man on the mark is 35 metres from goal, near enough to uh, directly in front. And uh, we saw Hickleton from the other end kick one from 50, so distance should not be a problem for him here. So Sam Hickleton moves in. On the right foot. Well, he also was hooked it, but the wind's brought it back nicely. The goal umpire stands there. It's over his head. So it's the second goal for the day to Sam Hickle. The first of this quarter for Bannockburn. But on the Raiders bingo scoreboard, they move to 5-3-33. Leading in Valee, 1-5-11. And we've been playing eight minutes into the second quarter. Yeah, well, Eric, uh, Bannock Burns play is a little bit more direct, and uh, one of the pleasing things to me uh, uh, is Matty Dillon back on the half-back line there. I thought uh, last year they uh, you know, mucked around a little bit, playing him on the wing and playing him up forward, and uh, I think he's a dead set half-back flanker, and uh, he's uh, prepared to give him plenty of run out of there. Sam Hickelwood is impressive, and as I say, if they can afford to go directly to him, I think he's good enough to kick a few goals. Uh, got him a set half forward at the moment. Back to the middle, try to kick off the ground towards half-forward. Good pick up by uh, Cook. Was going to handball, then kicked over his shoulder towards full forward. Kelberg's there. Off hands, back towards him again. Now off a step, and the kick has come from Chris Jones, and he's kicked the goal. So he's kicked his first, and the second for Inverlee. They go to 2 5 17. 
a trial. Bannockburn 5 3 33. And that is on the Raiders bingo. Second quarter scoreboard, nine minutes played. So, good play by Chris Jones. Front and centre there from Kelberg. Well, they've threatened, haven't they, Eberly? When they've gone forward, they look like they're going to get a goal, and it's just been the strength of the back line from uh, Bannockburn there that's held them out. But that time, they just weren't uh, able to do that. It was a good goal. So, back to the middle again. And it is starting here with Armitage. And Trotter got the kick out from the last one there. I'll see if they can do it again. Back to the middle, Armitage. Gets it down. This time chopped off by Clark. Clearing kick towards uh, half forward. Coming out Ryan over his head. Maloney tried to tap it on. Pilgrim in the goal square. Ronnie, quick reply. He's missed. He's missed. <laughs> you don't see that too often. Ron Pilgrim. He's second behind. He's got one goal too. They go to 5-4-34, Bannockburn. They lead him below 2 5 7 8. Raiders bingo second quarter scoreboard. Ten minutes played. Another score from quarter time. Belpost Hill, four goals, ten lead. Winch will see four goals too down at Winch as the ball's come into uh, half forward flank for Bannockburn. Player in, uh, well, Dylan tr didn't quite have the footy, but he's put the ground and uh, the umpire said the ball wasn't going anywhere. So on the half forward flank for Bannockburn in front of the change rooms, the ball is in the air once again. Lister and Armitage. Armitage absolutely dominating the ruck at the moment. Gets the ball forward. But, uh, well, the umpire's put a whistle on play there and uh, suggested that uh, the uh, invalid player, and he doesn't know which way he's kicking, has been <laughs> pushed in the back. <laughs> so <laughs> that's embarrassing, Laurie, when you get a free kick and don't know which way to go. But... Uh, must have just come on, Eric. Now we've got things right into the middle of the ground to a guest. Takes the mark, plays on quickly. On the left foot, it's a fairly ordinary looking left foot kick and uh, leading in the race for the footy is uh, Burley. And he forces it over the boundary line. This time in the half forward flank for Inverley. It's in front of the scoreboard, which shows Bannockburn 5-4 leading Inverley 2-5. As the boundary umpire about to put the ball into play once again. 11 minutes gone, second quarter. Up high, Flanagan punches the ball toward the boundary. Swooping on it there is uh, Bruinges. Over the top, the oh. lead has come from... Well, I don't know what was paid there. Free kick uh, or whatever, mark. because I don't think it was a mark. But uh, it's been quite conspicuous, Kalberg. Up forward there for Inverlee. Gives them a target. And uh, with Cowan dropping out at the last minute, uh, you know, they needed a substitute. And is, so it, far, is he a recruit this year, Eric yep. Kalberg? Kalberg is, I believe. I'm not too sure where he's from. <laughs> But uh, Kalberg with uh, Robbie Giles standing the mark, 30 metres from goal, 45 degree angle. We're right behind the line of the kick as Kalberg moves in. Can kick the footy and give him a wrap and he lets you down. It's right across Good the pass. face of goal, but there's an invalid mark. <laughs> Good pass. So <laughs> can kick the footy. <laughs> so it is Chris Jones who's the kicker of the last goal and he's taken the mark. He's been put down on the... Uh, well, what do they say? The impossible angle, because he's almost on the boundary line, and he's on the wrong side for a right footer. But what's this check side? Is it? Looks like that's what he's uh, endeavouring to do. No, he's kicked the drop punt. He's gone right across the face. No, he hasn't gone across the face of goal. The goal umpire likes that. I think the players do. <laughs> and Jones has kicked his second in a matter of minutes. So that's the third for Inverley. They go to three five twenty three. So trail Bannockburn five four thirty four. That's on the road. Just been going. Scoreboard, 12 and a half minutes gone. Yeah, well, they've worked fairly hard for their uh, goals, Eric, but that was a really good goal from that impossible pocket there and uh, just shows that uh, we don't know too much about footy, do we? <laughs> <laughs> Not much. But, uh, look, I, I'm uh, quite impressed with Inverley, um, uh smaller players, Nan, uh, Guess, Noy, uh, Trotter. They're pretty well equipped in the little area this year. Back to the middle, Armitage and Lister. Armitage down towards uh, coming off half forward, Noy. Rides a couple of bumps, then loses the footy. Lister, handball to Flanagan and also Beasley on the ground. Get around, hand, oh, was going to find the handball. Now left foot kick, back towards centre half forward. And no mark taken, play on the call. Woods at the front, great pick up, one hand. Left foot kick around the corner towards Maloney, getting back there. Henry, should be out, oh, it doesn't take the mark. And it's off his hands and out of bounds for a boundary throw in. About 15 metres around from the batting burn goal. Laurie, you didn't park your car over there, did you? You hope you didn't leave your car over there. I hope not. <laughs> There's smoke issuing force from... Uh, <laughs> Someone's doing some wheelies in it. <laughs> so a boundary throw in, 15 metres out from the batting burn goal. Henry gets it down, only as far as Darren Ryan. Kick over the shoulder. He's oh, pretty good from the coach, kick, and he's it? kicked the goal. Oh. 
Fantastic by Darren Ryan. So his first goal for his new club. And the sixth for Bannockburn. They go to 6 4 40 and they lead in Belay 3 5 23. Raiders Bingo, second quarter scoreboard, 14 minutes played. Laurie, I really can't remember Darren Ryan as being a prolific goal kicker, but he seemed to know where they were then. Yeah, well, he, uh, as soon as he turned around and got over his shoulder, it looked like it was going straight through. So he's, uh, I, I think you're going to see probably a lot of that this year because uh, he drifts himself up in the forward line quite a bit and uh, he's accomplished uh, football, of course. And uh, you've got someone around the area that's going to do that and. Uh, you know, make advantage when you go forward. They're doing it easy, where Inverley are doing it a little bit harder. Yes, good point. As the umpire now has the ball back in the middle. So Lister and Armitage once again, probably favoured Armitage. He got the tap anyway, but uh, Clark intercepts, handball to Flanagan, and Bannockburn go forward once again. Long kick from Flanagan, drifting toward the boundary. Well, it's a good bounce for Bannockburn. Tap over the line there by Meek. The umpire said no, not in, not intentional. So uh, the ball will be thrown in in front of the social club here at uh, Victoria Park in Bannockburn. They're playing 16, 15 minutes into the second quarter. And uh, look at those flags, Laurie. The, the wind's more across the ground rather than up and down, isn't it? Yeah, it is at the moment. Well, from the throw-in, Trotter, handball, finally comes to McCallum for uh, Inverlee. Kicks towards centre wing. Cook can't take the mark. Went one-handed. Noy picked it up. He's tackled. Umpire said too high. He plays on quickly. Little chip over to uh, Guest, the Torquay component there. Another handball to uh, Nan, also ex-Torquay. He's tackled. The ball comes loose. Flanagan picks it up. Runs through the uh, invalid defence, but the kick is, uh, well, it's McCarthy. offline a bit. McCarthy has taken the mark. He chips it over the top, and here go uh, Inverlee. Mark taken, played on quickly by Fitzgerald. He hooks it around the body, going into the forward area, but Perkins... Basically just ushers it across the boundary line. Couldn't quite reach it to mark it, but put the body in front of the football and has forced it over the boundary line. A couple of metres now from the uh, behind post and his Lister first rest for the day. And I don't know what uh, alternatives uh, Maloney. Maloney's rucking for Bannockburn. So he's up against Jones in the, uh, the pocket. Maloney gets the tap down to Giles. He's tackled with the footy. Can't get it clear. And the umpire will move in. 15 metres from the uh, Inverlee goal and put the ball in the air. Maloney does, oh, goes high, taps it down to uh, his teammate. In the way there is the McCarthy. Handball forward, Perkins in the way. Well, really had nowhere to go, Ash Perkins, and probably could have been uh, intentionally over the boundary line by hand, but the umpire didn't see it that way. So uh, fortunate for the Bannockburn defence. They're under a bit of pressure, Laurie, the defence. Yeah, they certainly are, Eric. Uh, Inverley are probably playing and they're just rushing their shots a bit. This looks a good one. Well, that was young uh, McCarthy once again. The handball came out to him. He round the back of the pack on the left foot. Was it McCarthy? Or was it Shane Nan? I think it was Nan. And uh, he's not a goal kicker either. No, I think they're, it was McCarthy. No, well, no it was a Nan, was it? Yeah, well, they're, uh, they're congratulating... Young Shane Nairn will give it to him. So that's the fourth goal for Inverlee. 4 5 29. And Maloney is a lot of trouble. Ah, Bannockburn 6 4 40. And the Raiders bingo second quarter scoreboard. 17 minutes gone. So there'll be some rapid uh, changes here for uh, Bannockburn because they need a, a Ruckman to contest the issue. They better get Lester back on again, I think. So Hickledon's in the Ruck now. With Maloney off against the Army. He does pretty well too, Hickledon. The full forward. Handball Noy gives it a guest. And he goes to the right foot kick long towards centre half forward. Up. No mark taken at the front. McCarthy did well. Left foot kick long towards the goal square. Giles has to get back. Which way is it going to bounce? Oh. Oh, off break. Oh. They would have been happy with that. Now it comes through. Free kick too high. Mm. I think that might have been a little bit lucky because he did fall over at the same stage. But anyway, you make your own luck sometimes. Looks like Tian, Inverley, isn't it? Yeah. Tian will take the free kick for Inverley. See a goal here. Makes an interesting lorry. Well, that's right, Eric, and uh, it's coming from their pace per grade, I feel. McCartney, uh, Noy, uh, Trotter, those uh, quicker players seem to be just getting on top, and uh, uh, Wayne said earlier in the piece that might be their biggest worry, their lack of pace. So, Steve Tian will kick from 20 metres out and has nearly missed a lot, I reckon. He's just nudged it in for a behind. So they go to uh, 4 6 30 in Belie. They trail Bannockburn 6 4 40. Raiders Bingo second quarter scoreboard 18 and a half minutes played. So now the uh, ball kicked in by Lewis. Looking for Giles. The ball's too uh, far for him, however. But the ball, uh, fortunately for Bannockburn, it's drifted over the boundary line because in Belie were uh, 
heading back toward the goal. So uh, all of a sudden, rather disrupted Bannockburn with uh, players off injured and uh, looking for replacements. Lister, of course, back on the ground now to do the ruck work. Gets a tap on that occasion. Clark absolutely besieged by Invalid forwards. And uh, it's good to see, Laurie, the Invalid forwards working very, very hard to keep the ball in that forward half. Oh, look, they have, Eric. Uh, Wayne, we're very, very pleased with their uh, d desire around the footy. It's been very, very good, and uh, they, worked, they have worked hard. Oops. Oh, two invalid players collided very heavily, and both absolutely desperate for the footy. And, of course, it's allowed Bannockburn uh, to get the ball a and a half back. But, gee, Jones has butted up for invalid, gets a handball clear. Nan can't pick it up. Oh. Tugged off the footy without the, uh, the ball. Now, uh, I think probably the second free kick to invalid was given. It's uh, McCarthy in the middle of the ground. Uh, Hell without the footy. So he plays on quickly, chips over the top. Noy, unattended, takes the mark, 20, mark, 20 metres closer to goal. Sees a lead from the full forward area, and it's from Trotter. And Clayton Trotter takes the mark in front of his face with the man on the mark in uh, Corey Flanagan. is uh, about 40 metres from goal. So Clayton Trotter, an opportunity to... Uh, bring Inverley a little closer moves in good approach good looking kick off the oh, boot magnificent kick. goal to Clayton Trotter and I guess that's why uh, he wins best and fairest Laurie that was a magnificent execution of a kick and it's the fifth goal for Inverley 5 6 36 they only trial by four points Bannockburn 6 4 40 Raiders bingo second quarter scoreboard 20 and a half minutes gone yeah, well, look, that was a beautiful kick, wasn't it? And, uh, look, I, I go back to uh, McCartney, that, that little number 11 the, around the ball here. He's uh, the guy that's uh, turned this game around a little bit in the last little bit. He's got the ball out and moved it forward. The little players are the ones that are dominating at the moment. Another goal here will be very interesting. So back to the middle. So Lister back in the ruck after being replaced by Maloney, who's now off injured. Goes towards Christian Shaw. Left foot kick towards the lead of Hickledon. Goes out there over his head, though. Having a double back. Now the Inverley defence working over time. Across half forward. Dylan from behind makes up some pace and has got it. Can he get away? He handballs it back towards Clark. He'll be under pressure as well. Brungies is there. And he does pretty well to worry him out of it. Now he needs some help though. And he loses the football. Van Ingen throws to the umpire. It will be a free kick to Matty Dillon on centre wing. Chips the ball towards Nathan Lewis. He holds the ball at half forward. After taking the mark, the lead's on from Hickledon and also from Ryan. And it oh, gets yeah. there, and Darren Ryan takes the mark. Good kick. I've seen him do that at North Shore a few times. I'll tell you what, he's pretty quick. Not too many are going to keep with him. He will kick from just inside 50. So he's just uh, doing the Stuart Lowe kick in the grass, who I think he made famous. He made it famous. He might be better around the corner rather than the straight shot, Laurie. Yeah, we'll soon see. So, Darren Ryan, who's kicked one. Oh, it's a tumbling punt off the boot or a great pass to Sam Hickledon, one or the other. The coach will take <laughs> it, the great pass. He swings on his left foot now. <laughs> so, Hickledon has there's taken few, the mark. A few letting Darren Ryan know how good a kick it was. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's a good pass. Hickledon, who's kicked two. Ronnie Pilgrim up. Yep, to be replaced by Hinchcliffe. Hickledon right on the boundary line. He's probably kicked plenty from this spot at training, you wouldn't reckon, would you? <laughs> oh, I would imagine they would uh, do a few from there, yes. So, he's kicked two for goal number three for himself this afternoon. Goal number seven for Bannockburn. He comes in, and the check side, he's no, missed. No hope. And two goals, one his personal tally. They go to 6-5-41 Bannockburn. They lead in Belay 5-6-36. Raiders bingo second quarter scoreboard. 23 minutes played. Interesting, Laurie. Uh... 23 minutes into the second quarter. Equal number of shots, 11 each. Yes. From the kick in, a long kick for Inverley and uh, a mark in front. They're taken by Jones. Put the long arms up and uh, comfortably took the mark. Chips it wide. So Inverley playing the possession game. They chip forward again. This time it's Trotter between the centre wing and halfback flank on the outer side. Now decides to go long. Kicks it well over the centre. It's pretty high. But it's, uh, well, it's all Bannockburn there. None of them judge it too well. Flanagan tapped it over looking for a teammate. Only found uh, McCarthy. Well, he's tackled high. <laughs> he's off. And uh, it's one of the benefits, Laurie, being so short. <laughs> because... Uh, Boy, he's a little Terry, isn't he? He, he is. He is. And uh, 
Burley a little taller. He put his arms out uh, horizontally and uh, nearly took young McCarthy's head off. So uh, McCarthy, I'd suggest too far out to score, surely. Uh, the man on the mark is standing on 50. But uh, I, get, I imagine he'd be looking for options. There's a few talls gone into the goal square for Inverlee. But uh, bear in mind, a goal here would put them in front. So McCarthy there moves in. Not a bad looking kick. It's pretty low, but it's distance. offline. So he did get the distance. So it's a behind to him. He's second for the day. And it's the seventh for Inverloo. 5 737. They trail Bannockburn 6 5 41. Raiders bingo second quarter scoreboard. 24 and a half minutes gone. So Nathan Lewis waiting for the ball to come back for him to do the kicking in. There's the footy now. As the second quarter's gone, Laurie uh, Shaw's faded out of it a little. Just hasn't had the footy, and that's been... Uh, well, that's right, Eric. Uh, uh, Lewis goes short to Damien Clark in the back pocket, takes the mark. He chips the ball over the top to Perkins, and there is Christian Shaw. Does well, Ashley Perkins. Just stands in front, lets Christian Shaw take the mark. Big man to get around, and then he goes up, nearly gets the ball. Nathan Lewis holds it in. Ooh. <laughs> it's out of bounds on the full. So Clayton Trotter with the free kick. So Trotter will go with the right foot towards centre half forward. Half forward flank coming across. No mark taken. Cook off hands towards Clark. Gets a kick around to once it came. Trotter stands his ground, takes the mark. So on centre wing now. He wants to switch play towards centre half forward. The lead's on. And oh, coming across and taking a great mark, Alistair Woods at centre half back. Wants to switch play to the outside centre wing. Beasley gives him a lead. Goes in that direction. Doesn't sit for him well though. And uh, he can't pick it up. But coming through and being able to pick it up is Fitzgerald. Little kick around the corner. Now Bannockburn with the numbers. Woods gets a shepherd from Nicholson. And at half back goes towards centre wing. Two on one though. Buchanan uses the body off hands. Goes to the back of the pack. Coming through Mullane Grant. Handballs it back in towards Woods. Has to sit and wait for a little bit. Now he's wrapped up and he loses the football. Under pressure. Coming through. Lister did well. Handball over the top. Close to the boundary line. And they might see it over. They do. Inverley through Daniel Henry. That will be a boundary throw in between wing and half forward on the outer side. 6 5 41 Bannockburn. Inverley 5 7 37. Four points of difference. Raiders bingo second quarter scoreboard. Close to half time. Woods from the ruck contest. Picked the ball up and was able to run it through towards Lewis. Oh, Ryan. Great pick up and turn. Gives it back to Lewis on the boundary line outside of the right boot towards Hickledon. Can he take the mark? No, he can't. And it is out of bounds in the right forward pocket for Bannockburn. We'll have a boundary throw in. So, just 10 metres around from the Bannockburn goal. Your car's still on fire over there too, Loz, I see. No, I've got to educate you, uh, City Slickers. That's uh, the farmers burn a bit of stubble. Oh, that's the OK, farm. then. It's fair enough. From the ruck contest, over the back was Trotter. And also there was Van Ingen. Trotter through the middle again. Got a high tackle, no free kick. Through the middle again, Van Ingen. Now the kick has come Goal. out of the pack, and was that Malone Grant? I think it was. It was Tom Malone Grant, so he puts his first on the board. And for Bannockburn, that is the seventh. They go to 7 5 47. They lead in the lead 5 7 37. Raiders bingo second quarter scoreboard 27 and a half minutes played. I suppose that's the benefit of a Malone Grant type player, Laurie. Made something out of nothing there and uh, created a goal. Well, that's right, Eric, and uh, I, I just went through my mind there before when Bannockburn probably had their backs to the wall a little bit because Inverloo have played so well in this quarter. I just noticed that uh, Clinton Shaw and uh, the, and the coach and Lewis just started to get their hands on the footy again, and I guess that's what they're recruited here for. Well, from the ball up in the middle, it came to uh, Guest, but uh, Bannockburn play hell without the footy is Christian Shaw, and uh, in the middle of the ground, he has the free kick once again. Kicks it long, out to the flank, the player loose out there. And uh, it's Woods. Woods, is it? Drifted down from the centre. Oh, it's an up and under pass. Lewis. But Lewis, well, he uh, took it pretty hard. Lewis, he didn't get the footy. And now come back outside 50 to Shaw. Handball long over the top looking for a teammate in Hinchcliffe on the ground. He chips it forward. But, uh, well, Clark made good ground to get to that. And uh, Lewis now, of course, on his feet. I think he was waiting for the free kick and it didn't happen. So the ball now chipped over the top. And uh, it's Woods again. Is it just drifted into those gaps? And uh, that's what 
what it's all about when you're a uh, will of the wisp winger, Laurie. You've got to create some gaps for yourself and find them. Well, he's got a little bit of height about him as well, uh, Eric. I think this boy's going to grow into a pretty uh, fine footballer because he's uh, going to be tall and uh, he's got that little bit of advantage on the wing. And I'd, I'd say in the last few minutes he's had probably four positions. The man on the mark, 30 metres out. Woods kicks it low through the air. I think he might have made it, though. An interlude player tried to touch it on the line, but he's missed out. So Alistair Woods kicks his first, and a much-needed goal probably for Bannockburn late in the second quarter. 8-5-53. They've now just snuck away from Inverley a little 5-7-37. Raiders bingo second quarter scoreboard, and we've ticked past 29 minutes in the second quarter. Uh, do you think this is just a test uh, for Inverley at the moment, Eric? They've uh, put a bit of pressure on them now, and uh, if they can come back, because I've, I've been uh, pretty impressed with the way they played this second quarter, but they've well, just faded just Well, two a goals in time on. It, it, you know, that they didn't need them against no, them. exactly right. So to the centre bounce, Lister up against Jones. Jones gets it down, giving a bit of relief to Armitage. Clark handballs it to himself and gets a clearing kick towards half forward. McCallum will sit and wait for it, runs away from him towards the boundary line. And they see it over for a throw in. I think a lot of players will be pretty happy when the halftime siren goes. Oh, I'm pretty sure of that, Eric. Uh, it's been a pretty good quality first up uh, half a footy, I think. So boundary throw in. Half forward for Bannockburn. Jones in front, gets it down. Through the middle, Henry goes towards centre wing. Oh, Perkins picks the ball up and gets a clearing kick back towards half forward. Lewis coming at it was a guest. Lewis now close to the boundary line. Back towards the middle of the ground. Buchanan takes the mark. Does well. Handballs it away quickly towards Matthews. Gets the kick out wide. And there is the siren for half time. And it is Bannockburn 8 5 53. They lead Inverley 5 7 37 in that second term. Bannockburn kicked four goals four. Inverley kicked four goals three. And it is 16 points of difference at half time. The goal kickers to half time for Bannockburn two each to Sam Hickledon, Nathan Lewis, and singles to Tom Mullane, Grant, Ron Pilgrim, Darren Ryan, and Alistair Woods. Well, for Inverley, their goals have come. From two to Chris Jones and singles to Sam Kelberg, Clayton Trotter, Andrew Shane Nan. 16 points of difference at the main break. We'll take a break. And then